This video is called Making a New Component, and it goes with Chapter 5 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, here we are in a model. What I've done is I've modeled up a very simple little um, building form here, and what it's got is kind of the beginnings of a wraparound porch thing. Actually, let's use the push-pull tool and just kind of pick this guy up a little bit. I like that a little better. Okay, so it's got is kind of a wraparound porch and a little a little roof that goes all the way around the building like that. And what I want to do is I want to make a column that's going to go all the way around, right? I want to make columns to go all the way around the perimeter of this porch. And since all the columns are going to be the same, and since I might have to change them after I do them, the smart thing to do would be to make those columns components. Kind of like groups, except when I change one of them, they're all going to change. Um, now, most of the, the making a component demonstrations you'll see kind of deal with making something off in space, turning it into a component. But a lot of the time you're going to be making components that are actually in situ. They're going to be right on your model. So I thought I'd do an example that was like that, just because I think it's useful for some people. Um, let's do that. I'm going to get the line tool. This is going to be a square column uh, for now. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I don't know. Let's just kind of draw this column. I'm going to say that the column should be 12 inches by 12 inches. So I'm going to type in 12 inches and go 12 inches this way and then come back and then there. Okay, so what I've got now is a little square. Um, and if I take the push-pull tool and actually push that up all the way to the top, then what I've got is a column. This is going to be an ugly house with ugly columns, but it's big enough that you can sort of see what I'm doing. Now, if I were to go ahead and put a head, put an, you know another column like this over here, whoops, another column like that right here without without actually making this a component. Um, if I were to change one, uh, the other one isn't going to change, right? So this isn't going to work. What I need to do is make this thing a component. Now, now that I've actually extruded this thing into into a a column, it's a little harder to select, right? Because it's actually stuck to the ground and it's stuck to the roof. That's no good. If I were to make this um, little square into a component, and I, and I knew that I wanted it to be a component from the very beginning, what I would actually do is go back a whole step before I had push-pulled it into a three-dimensional column. Right there when it's a square, that's the perfect time to make it a column. Watch this. I'm going to take my Select tool and just select that whole square, just like that. And then I'm going to right-click on it and say Make Component. And what I get is the Make Component or New Component dialog box right here. And it asks me to name that component. I'm going to say uh, that is a square column, just like that. Um, in the description, I you know what, honestly, I never ever put a description in for my components. Now, if I had a, a model with thousands of components, or even dozens of components, and any of them were very similar, I would probably put a description in here. But since this is the only column in my model, um, I'm going to kind of just ignore the description box right now. Right here where it says glue to any, um, I'm just going to leave that at any right now, and I'm going to leave it at cut opening. Um, we're going to talk about these settings later on when we're actually talking about doors and windows and things in a, in a later video later on in Chapter 5. But for now, with this column, I'm just going to leave it on any and cut opening, just like that. Uh, I don't have to worry about the set gluing plane box. And, most importantly, I'm going to make sure that this Replace Selection with Component checkbox is checked right there. If that's not checked, when I say Create, it's not going to turn the stuff that I selected here into a component. So what I need to do is make sure Replace Selection with Component is checked, and then say Create. And then what I've got is a component. Now that component isn't very impressive. If I back up, it's just a square sitting on that ground, right? But let's do this. I'm going to take the Move tool and I'm going to make some copies of the component. Let's take the, I'm going to hit the control key uh, on a PC or option on a Mac to move a copy of the component all the way down to the end of my building. Oops, I'm not following my own rule. I should zoom in when I'm doing something like that so I can see what I'm doing. So I made a copy of the component. I'm going to say I want, mm, I don't know, 15 divided by, so 15 in total copies uh, divided by tells it to put the, the copies in between, just like that. And now what I can do, since these are components, is I'm just going to click on one of them to edit it. Notice when I double click on a component like that, everything kind of goes all hazy and gray, except for the stuff that's actually included in the component. And now I'm going to take the push-pull tool, and I'm going to push-pull that, and now everything is coming with it. And it's kind of as simple as that. So what I did there, this is 
really not the kind of columns that I'd want to have on a building like this, but I think you get the picture. Um, in making that component, I didn't make the entire shape of the thing the way that I, I meant it to end up right at once. I kind of drew the outline on the ground, and then I worried about making it a component, and then I kind of extruded it up into the shape that I wanted. Let's go with the simple example now, just so you can see how to make a component again. Watch. I'm going to just make a little, I don't know, I'll make a very uncomfortable chair. How's that? We'll just kind of come across and go up and uh, use the push-pull tool to come all the way across. All right, there you have it, the world's worst chair. I'm going to select that. Now that it's selected, I'm going to say right-click, Make Component. I'm here in the Make Component dialog box. I'm going to say terrible, oops, terrible chair. I'm going to leave description blank. Here it's going to say glue to none because the chair that I built isn't actually on top of any other geometry. And again, cover this later in the chapter. If this chair had been sitting on the ground, it probably would have said glue to any, but since it's not sitting anywhere, it's going to say none. This always face camera option is going to be for things like two-dimensional trees and people where you never want to be able to get around behind them. But the, the chair is three-dimensional. I don't want to check that. Um, again, most importantly, I'm going to make sure that this replace selection with component option is checked. And I'm going to say create. And when I do that, I get a component that is my chair. And if I want to prove that it's a component, I'll just make a copy of it over here and then double click to edit one instance. And when I do that, Let's just kind of do this, and then push-pull this through. There we go. And when I double-click to exit that component instance, you'll see that both component instances is actually updated. Cool. Let's go to the Components dialog box. There it is. And if I hit this In Model Library right there, notice how nothing's popping up. It's not saying I have any components in my model. But if I right-click, I'm not. I'm sorry, not right-click, just click on that, and then say Refresh, it'll show me the two components that I have in my model. Uh, one of them is the column, it's showing me a top view right there, and one of them is the chair, and I can drag copies in from the component dialog box just like that. Okay, that is the end of this video, uh, which is making your own components um, for Chapter 5 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.